So hey guys, welcome to another video and this is a special one. Reason being, you have all the three superstars available, the K20 Pro, the Poco X3 Pro and the Mi 11X. Now in today's video, we are of course going to compare Pixel Experience versus Pixel Experience Plus. All three are on the latest version based on Android 12.1 L and we're going to see what sets click plus version from the normal version apart. So before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. let's get going. So let me tell you which device is running what. This right here is my Mi 11X. I'm using this as a personal phone. This is running the normal Pixel Experience version. This is the Poco X3 Pro, which is running the Plus version. This is the Redmi K20 Pro, which is running the Plus version. Now you would ask me, why am I including three devices? This could just be done with two. Well, you would be absolutely right. But the point here is, when we talk about features in Pixel Experience and Pixel Experience Plus, they will vary from what kind of display you have. So if you have an AMOLED display, you will have always on display. If you don't have an AMOLED display, you don't have always on display and stuff like that. AMOLED display with normal pixel experience and AMOLED display with plus and LCD with plus as well. So one by one, let's first quickly go to settings, go to about, go to the Android version to see the build information to make sure that we are on the latest one. So let's go to settings and about an android version 12 okay now as you can see leaving the imei apart of course android version 12 on all three april security patch on all three and as you can see, this is Pixel Experience, this is Plus, and this is Plus as well. The kernels will, of course, vary from device to device. And uh, yeah, I don't know about you guys, but the LCD really stands out. It looks very different compared to these two. So let's actually start with the side-by-side -side comparison of the novel version with the Plus version. We will let the Poco X3 Pro be here. That's completely fine, right? So the first thing that we're going to have a look at is what launcher are these three ROMs running? So in all the three cases, of course, we get Pixel Experience Launcher, which doesn't have any changes when it comes to, you know, comparing with Pixel Experience and Pixel Experience Plus. All three have the almost the exact same version, as you can see. Even if you click on app info and stuff like that, you will find that the information is absolutely similar. So no major differences there, but that's where the differences start to come. Now, this right here is Pixel Experience Plus. So let's look at the volume panel over here. Now, as you can see, it has a very, very fancy, uh, modern sort of looking volume panel that you have over here. So, and this has sort of a different animation as well. Now, live caption is present in this one. And if I were to move this a little bit, okay. As you can see, the expanded volume panel in the normal version of Pixel Experience is different compared to the plus version. So yes, it has those differences there, right? Now we will talk about more detailed changes step by step, but initially, as far as the volume panel is concerned, that is a difference. Now, moving on, we will again have to go to the power menu for which we need to press a button. So if you look at the power menu on the plus version, it is with a white background. On the normal version, it is with a black background. Now, as you can see over here, the plus version has advanced reboot and lock screen menu customization as well, which of course is missing on the normal version, right? Now, next up, what we will have a look at is quick tiles, right? Now we are running the light mode on all the three devices, but on the plus version, the background of quick setting tiles is white. And on the normal version, even though we have dark theme disabled, it still has a blacked out background for the quick tiles. So Wi-Fi and mobile data separate tiles are available in the normal and the plus version as well. But if you have a look over here, you have caffeine. Caffeine will not be available in the normal version. That is definitely missing over here, right? You have heads up available over here. Heads up is missing in the normal version. And you have things like live display and reading mode, which is again, not present over here. The reason I'm leaving the Poco X3 Pro out of the mix right now is because it's not relevant. We have two AMOLED powered devices, which make a lot of sense to compare side by side. Now moving on, what we will do is we will actually go to the settings menu on both the devices. 
so that we can further compare the differences. So let's go to settings here. Let's go to settings and network and internet, network and internet connected devices, all the info is the same. If you go to apps, you go to say default applications, everything is still the same in the normal version as well as the plus version, you get the game dashboard. So almost everything is absolutely similar over here. So no more changes as far as the apps section is concerned, right? Right, now moving on, let's go to the next section that is notifications, right? Now, as you can see, app settings, notification history, almost everything is pretty similar over here. So no changes there. You have conversations, bubbles, device app notifications, sensitive notifications, allow face unlock on screen and all those things are present. But as you can see over here, in the plus version, you have display priority notifications in small heads up. So, you know, you have this option which is present that is missing in the normal version. But apart from this, if you go further down, you will see that almost all the other features and options are same. So heads up notifications toggle is something that is extra over here in the plus version. Moving on, we will go to battery and the battery section, there are optimization profiles available in this one and optimization profiles is not available in the normal edition, available in the plus edition. Now, I feel this is a device specific feature and it might get added to the non plus version in the future as well. But as you can see, if you go to battery saver, you go to battery saver, battery saver here, you have set schedule, reduce refresh rate. Now this again is a device specific feature because this doesn't have a 120 Hertz display or a high refresh rate display. So in this case, let's go to battery. Let's go to battery saver. So reduce refresh rate. Yes, it's available in plus and the normal version. Set schedule, turn off when charged, extreme battery saver. So almost all the options are same apart from that refresh rate option. Now you will see that in the normal version, battery percentage is available over here. It's not there in the plus version. Well, that is available at a different location. So don't worry about that. Now moving on, nothing interesting in storage. So we will go to sound and vibration, right? Now, as you can see, almost everything is pretty similar, but in the plus version, you have this option of link and unlink notification volumes. Increase ring volumes is also an option, right? And per SIM card ringtone is present in the plus version, which I am unable to find, right? You do have things like adaptive sound, vibrate for calls. Moving on. Let's see what else is here. You have vibrate to indicate call status. Now this is not available in the normal version. MI sound enhancer and clear speaker are features which are device specific, but I do see them available in the plus version as you can see. So clear speaker is not present in the K20 Pro. So there might be a lot of features which might be device specific, but most of them which I'm comparing are the normal Pixel experience versus Pixel experience plus. Now moving on, let's actually go to the display section over here. So display, display and display. Now this is LCD and these two are AMOLED. So let's see what the difference is. We're going to disable adaptive brightness on all three. Now, if you go to lock screen, right, you will see that you have privacy, all the information looks the same, but in plus you have these options, display media cover art, display music visualizer, right? And ambient display. So on a LCD panel, you have these options of pick up, race to wake, hand wave, pocket, because you don't have always on display, right? So always show time and info. These, you know, keep changing device to device, but more or less you will have those features just with some other menu or some other name. So that is the difference between normal edition and plus edition as far as the display section is concerned. Now let's see if we have any more things that are missing from the normal version. Let's see here, moving on. So refresh rate is once again, you know, a device specific feature because if you have a high refresh rate display, you might have this low refresh rate and high refresh rate option. Now there is one more thing that is included over here, high touch polling rate. Now that's again missing from the normal edition, which is a little weird because high touch polling rate is something it's, it's really, really useful, especially for gamers. Minimum, maximum refresh rate is available, right? You have tap to wake for the status bar or tap to wake anywhere. Tap to sleep on the status bar is available. Wake on plug is available. So, you know, wake on plug and the status bar tap to sleep are options which are available only in Pixel Experience Plus. They are definitely missing from the normal edition. Now moving on, if you go to wallpaper and style, I really don't feel you will see any major differences over here. So let's see here, themed icons, themed icons. Yeah, 
everything is the same in wallpaper and style now if you go to security let's go to security on all three over here so face and fingerprint unlock face and fingerprint unlock even in the plus edition nothing new there advanced unlock nothing new there so even in advanced settings security almost everything is absolutely similar right now moving on under privacy location you don't really have any differences so we will directly jump to system which is where you might find quite a lot of differences in the normal edition and the plus edition right now you have all the menus looking similar over here but what you'll notice over here is you have status bar customization you have button customization these two options are missing from the normal edition so if you actually go to gestures you will see the difference what i mean so you have quick tap to start actions so quick tap to start these are device specific features so they'll be available in normal pixel experience and pixel experience as well quickly open camera is also there so if you go to system navigation you know this is where you will see something interesting if you go to the customization menu this is swipe to invoke assistant left edge right edge that's where the story ends but over here you have edge long swipe action right so there you go if you if you swipe along the edge and things like that you see two arrows and that will give you say launch camera okay now long swipe there you go so it is opening the camera so that is how that feature works that is not available in the normal edition you have the edge touch area as well so that option is missing as well in the normal edition and gesture indicator can be hidden or enabled in the normal edition so those things are different as far as the normal edition in the plus edition is concerned now also in the two button navigation and three button navigation in the plus edition you will see that you have some customization but in the normal edition you don't really have that customization option so once again a huge difference when it comes to the normal edition and the pixel experience plus edition now apart from this you have press and hold the power button for advanced restart you can customize the power menu that is also there hold for assistant this feature is also there so all these options are completely missing at the same time plus edition also has swipe to screenshot with android 12 giving you the expanded screenshot option as well so once again that swipe to screenshot gesture is definitely definitely missing now moving on if you actually go to status bar you will see that you do have a ton of customization over here which is you know simply missing you have the network traffic monitor which you can go ahead and you know enable you have system icons which you can customize tap to sleep clock position show seconds auto hide battery status style battery percentage you can select next to the icon remember that was in the battery section in this normal edition but in plus edition it is available over here you have brightness control as well so as you can see this is working quick pull down for right and left is available as well so you know all in all there are quite a lot of nifty features which are available in the plus edition compared to the normal pixel experience and a lot of people think why are they still making the plus edition and the normal edition well i feel it really makes sense because uh, there is no harm in giving a bunch of extra features a few nifty features which might be useful in day to day usage and calling it the plus version although if you are running the same device with the normal pixel experience or the plus the performance impact will not be there the battery life impact will not be there it is just the features that are making a difference let me know in the comment section what do you think about this side by side comparison of pixel experience versus pixel experience plus Until the next one this is Kalash signing off at Phone Ops keep smiling take care goodbye